Oh, I hope this is an expensive one. I do, I do. See that right there? That looks like a jewelry box right there. See that? Look at this. Super Nintendo. Pokemon. That's great. I like to get one box to bring me back all my money. This could be it. Marvel. Oh, oh, oh. You hear that? Do you hear that? There's some good value here. She's got it all arranged real nice. Let's take a, a tour through the crafting. Previously on Locker Nuts, tempted by online photos of a juicy comic book locker, I headed out of town hoping to scoop it up. But the unit looked different than it did in the photos. Apparently, it had been tampered with at some point before the auction. So I took a pass, but bought one of the other units instead for $475. The jewelry box made me do it, but it didn't hold anything too impressive. I found a couple of exciting items like some Lululemon and a donut maker. How awesome is that? But the most promising finds so far have been the crafting items, and there are a lot of them. Our story continues as we reach the back of the locker and find the remaining treasures this locker is holding for us. See more crafting stuff in here. There's some more one-touch stuff. Medicines, maybe this is something different. There's little charms, more crafting stuff. Huh, yeah. Crafting books. Well, that's another little crafting bag right here, so I'll put that aside. We'll go through it more carefully. Okay. Sewing and embellishment made easy. What is this? Oh, it is a sewing machine, but it does something else too. Embroidery and sewing machine. Huh, Brother SE350. Oh, I hope this is an expensive one. I do, I do. Okay. Alright. Alright. This could be a good little sale right here. Since COVID hit, people have been buying sewing machines. This could be decent. Uh, another big suitcase, but... It's all this foil that's been chewed up. I think this means that it's candy and mice or rats got in here. The inside of the suitcase looks pretty decent. The outside is kind of funky though, so that's going to go to the dump. That's gross. It's going to go a lot faster if there's empty stuff back here. Oh, and I've seen, oh, I've seen some different stuff. There's a table right there. So the back's looking a little bit more bare. I thought it was all boxes, but... That's all right. We can get through this. Together we can do it. Right, what do we got in here? Glass etching paint kit. All right. CNC story maker. All right. On the moon. Goat. What are these? For curling your hair or something? Hmm. That's a nice backgammon set right there. Let's see. Broken frames. And here we got a little waterfall, motorized. What do you think about that? What do you think about them apples? Made in China. Okay, what do we got here? Got a lot of drugs in here. Yeah, so much prescription. Oh, there's another Ellie Looks gel. That one actually is clean, so put those aside. Sick tiles. Oh no, stick tiles. Stick tiles. Okay. This stuff actually looks a little better. It's not saying much. It is a little better. Some decent scissors. Ooh, look at that. Huh. Oh, phone call. 
Okay, guys, check this out. I'm getting pretty deep in here. The bad news is that I haven't found that cricket machine. Um, it still could be in here, right? It still could be in here, but I have a feeling maybe not. But look at this is kind of interesting. See that right there? That looks like a jewelry box right there. See that? That looks like a jewelry box. It does. It looks like it could be. So this kind of the tables and stuff are gonna be easy to load. It won't take me very long. So this is gonna start moving a lot faster, but mm, that looks kind of promising. Oh yeah, I almost got distracted. Or I guess I did get distracted. I was on this right here. And I got a phone call. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Little leather leather purse. Nice. Um oh yeah, and then look at this. This is where we were. Got that rock right there, that geode. It's broken. It's too bad. Look at this. Super Nintendo. Pokemon. That's great. And Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. That's not bad either. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little better than flea market stuff, so that makes me happy. Oh, hey, I've got a few more in here too. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, South Park. Top Gear Overdrive. And All Star Baseball 2000. Those are vintage games. Vintage video games. You know we love that. A little battery backup. Okay. Nice little bag, actually. It's, it's cool. Hmm, that is cool. It's, it's a amethyst. I think that's amethyst. You know what? I'm gonna put that in here. Actually, that's really cool. It's made into a candlestick. There's something dirty in here. Um, but this is kind of neat too, right here. Look at this. Some skateboard wheels. Okay, penny, penny board, penny wheels. This ones are a little rougher, but. I don't know, there might be some value in those. I'm not sure. Definitely going to put them aside. Hmm, P permanent markers there. Oh, and more crafting stuff. Great. Good, good, good. <sighs> What's this? Hmm, ooh, that's bright. For a little flashlight, that's a bright one. Alright, next box. Next box, and I'll tell you what, I got a call from Jana, and I've got to pick the kids up from school. She's busy, so I am going to have to put the uh, put this in a little bit faster gear and start moving quicker, because I'm going to run out of time. I'm still an hour away from home, and I want to go to the dump on the way home to get rid of the junky junk, so... I'm going to have to move a little bit quicker. Let me get the video rolling um, and fast forward here. And I'll just kind of burn through and I'll stop and talk about anything that's a little more special. Marbles, that's good. Next box, can find too much in that last one. Just a little bit of, found a knife, a couple little things, but nothing too, too amazing. This looks like a brand new 
velvet quilt set, king size. That's decent. I'll put it right in that suitcase right there. Okay, get some clothes. It's just a pantyhose. Okay, well, some garland, Christmas, <laughs> cake pops, baking pan, that's funny. Yeah. Okay, what's this stuff, oh, this is more of that fancy paper, yep, that's what that is. More fancy papers here. Crafting! Oh boy, this whole box might be crafting actually. Good neck baskets. What is this? This is for like a Game Boy. That's cool. <laughs> little turtle. Robot turtle. It's just little kid stuff. Okay. Oh, wait, this one had the jewelry box? Oh, this one had jewelry box, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, fabric thingy. Oh, that's good, sell that at the market. Oh, it's really light. I thought it was something better. Cold compress, those are good to have. A bunch of little parts and stuff. Okay, what's in here? A little bit of makeup. Free market. Yep. It's a little Mickey Mouse watch. That's cool. Right in there. Okay. Solar lights. Draperies. Hmm. Headphones. Couple of headphones. Oh, this looks a little better right here. Alright guys, this might be getting a little bit better. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. i like to get one box to bring me back all my money. This could be it. Hmm. What are these things? I think they're exercise bands. Oh, this is getting way better. Oh, yes. Okay, these are going to... I don't want them to roll out. There's a bunch of marbles. Okay, that's good. Angel dish. And this. Look at that. Can you see in there? This is all marbles, guys. That's a one big marble collection right there. That's really good. We have marble collectors that show up at our auctions. So we try to bring them marble. <laughs> you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? We're just gonna peek. Uh, I don't really like what I see. Okay, let's make some room. I'll tell you, if I didn't already have like three bottles of this, I'd keep that because it comes in handy when you find furniture. Well, that's a USB C to USB converter. That's good. Oh, and these are Foster Grants right here. That's decent. Okay. What are these? Nothing, I don't think. Okay, a little seashell. Dang. Eddie Bauer coin purse. Empty. 
pocket monster game. Okay, sealed packs. Little charm. And a few little earrings. Hmm. All right. Nothing too crazy. Just a jewelry box. I'll go to the flea market. Good housekeeping illustrated book. Okay. All right. What do we have here? Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, nothing. The box is cool though. The box is actually really cool. It's like brass. And these are good right here. Some more geodes, a couple more. Yeah, come on. Just want to find something really good. Another chance. Mm. Well, what is that? I think that's Mark Nine Two Five right there. Right there, that's Mark Nine Two Five. That could be something cool. The stones. Hmm, I don't think that's a big piece of turquoise. It feels plasticky. But if it is turquoise, that's, that would be something. Okay. Well, at least we got some... <laughs> a couple little things in here. Okay, come on. This could be the one. Dang. Empty. Sterling silver, whatever it was originally. One more chance. Oh man, this. Another sterling silver. It's not gold still, but. Come on, where are those guys at? One more jewelry box. Come on, jewelry box. Mm. Okay, it's nothing. It's nothing. They're cool, but they're not precious or anything. Chico's. Okay. Nah. Nope. Bummer. Damn. Oh, there's some change though. We got some money. That'll cheer me up. Come on, that's good. Look at all those quarters. That always cheers me up. All right, well, whatever. Oh man, this one's light right here. A <laughs> big old light box. Ah. Oh, fake plants. Some stuff in here is getting lighter. And that's not good. Auto emergency tools. Mm. That's got a nice little compressor right there. Let's bring that to the flea market. I thought this was looking cleaner the deeper we got, but pull it out here, it doesn't look so clean anymore. Built. Fabric. Bath rugs. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, towels are good. Those sell at the market. Yeah, got some sweatshirts and stuff in here that sells. Those do sell. <laughs> that spider totally gave me the creeps right here. It's in my business. Alright, got this other big one out. This one looks to be in probably the best condition yet, and it's a Samsonite. That is good. This should bring us 10 bucks at the flea market, I'd say maybe eight. Eight at the lowest. Okay. Wow, 
once again I'm not seeing really anything too interesting in here these have been not been real high-end these are not leather here the boots now typically I like make you know a lot more thorough you know be a, be a lot more thorough at going through and make sure there's no like little bag of jewelry in there or something but I gotta go pick my kids up and I won't be late makes me nervous to be this far out and be responsible for that so uh, right now doing them first pass sorting and maybe I'll take a closer look at it when when I get to the flea market Straight up garbage right there. Why the heck did they keep that in there? Just throw it away. Don't put it in the locker. Come on, you guys. Come on. I feel like I should be making a video series aimed towards people who store their stuff. The do's and don'ts. There's some more marbles in there. There's also some really other funky stuff in here, though. Okay, I'll have to take that with me and get those marbles out because maybe they're older. Maybe they're nicer. Maybe they're sellable. This is a nice little bag. Bring that to the market. Okay, guys, this is the last box. If you see in here, I've got two TVs, got some glass, got some chairs, a little cart. The carts always sell at the market. That'll be an easy eight to ten bucks. Uh, this is my last box here. Uh, iPhone box, empty. Okay. Mm, got these things, these little wall hangers. I never cared much for those. Brand new stockings, okay. Umbrella, that's actually good for right about now. Rain is coming. Rain is coming. And the rest of this, I tell you, looks... Well, these actually might be leather. Nah, I don't think they are. Fake leather, I think. Man-made material. Yep, I was right. Okay, the rest of it looks to be closed. Just closed. So, boo. Well, that's it. Now I got to get to packing. All right, guys. Whew. All right, that was uh, I don't know, a couple hours going through that. I know I'm slow. Filming slows me down too. But um, yeah, I'm not finding anything in there. Nothing worthy. So we did find a little jewelry in here. Okay, I put a little bit in here and we left all that jewelry in there. It's not that good though. I saw like two silver pieces. I'll go through it a little bit more carefully. If there's anything great, I will update you at the end of this video. Don't hold your breath, all right? But stay to the end anyways, you know? Um, the crafting stuff, I don't, I don't think we have a Cricut. Maybe that other machine that I found, the really heavy one, maybe that is a like knockoff Cricut. And maybe that'll work for what my daughter wants, but uh, all the other Cricut pieces, that's got to be worth some money. That stuff's not cheap. And just all the crafting stuff in general. I, f I found two full, no, three totes full. Maybe one tote's full of just paper, like scrapbook paper. But the other two probably a more expensive, more interesting stuff. So we can make some lots for our live auctions out of that uh, for sure. And I do have some stuff I'm taking home, take a closer look at. And I do have some stuff I'm selling at the market. So anywho... I think that's gonna do it. Ooh, I see one thing here. One thing down here. Got some pretty nice bolt cutters. Power pivot. Huh. HK Porter. I don't know, was that Harbor Freight or something? Um, that's not bad, that's 10 bucks. All right, there's another 10 bucks come out. All right, we got all the stuff home and this is pretty much the crafting stuff. Maybe a little bit more I gotta bring in. But two bags and three bins. Looking at it right now in here, that's a fair amount of crafting stuff. Um, there's some purses on top right here, but mostly all crafting stuff. Let's get this out of the bags and boxes. We'll put it on the tables and uh, see what we got. All right, guys, you saw the bins. Now Jana went through it all. She was actually pretty impressed with the quality of the stuff here. She said some of these items, like some of the paper packs, have $40 price tags on them. So... There's some good value here. She's got it all arranged real nice. Let's take a tour through the crafting. All right. This might remind you a little bit of our auction previews. 
If you're a channel member, you've watched our auction preview videos that we put up. <laughs> this is exactly how I do it. So here's, um, I mean, I'll just take it slowly through. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. So hopefully you crafters will recognize uh, what we've got in front of you. I mean, obviously there's big stacks of stuff here. So there's a, there's a tremendous amount. There's back here, I think these are some books, crafting or, you know, books. There's some embossing pens or whatever. Here's some... Uh, tattered lace is what it says. Tattered lace dies. Got quite a few of those. At least a dozen of those, it looks like. There's some other lace stuff down here. This is all in like a binder, too. You see this? So there's like pages of it, too. We'll probably sell a binder like that all one lot in our auction. And, the, and by the way, guys, if you're interested in this stuff, that's where you can purchase it from us is in the auctions. All right? We'll do it in our live auctions. Check out all this... Um, it's like paper, specialty paper. I don't know what those are. Those are some sort of awards or something. The stuff up here is uh, like die cut. You see this? You punch them out. Punch out all the shapes. I guess that's for uh, scrapbooks or something. All right. Looks like that one's been punched out a little bit. That one. Um, it's this one. And more punch outs. Little punch out things. More punch out things. Die cut shapes. Uh, these are cool here. This is like, kind of reminds me of wallpaper because it's like, it's, you see it's embossed. It's got the texture, you know, the raised areas on it. All this paper, scrapbooking paper, really nice stuff. Ooh, yeah. I think this is some money right here. I think this is stuff is kind of expensive. Gianna said this is like a gold mine for a, a crafter. She told me to be thankful she's not into crafting because she'd be, she'd be keeping this stuff. Oh, look at this cardstock. Very nice. Oh, yeah. All these are paper books. Mmm, this is good. We're going to have to figure out how to get these uh, lotted up into concise lots. You know, it's got to make sense for us in shipping. Otherwise, we can do large lots, shipping additional. That's cool. But, uh, I don't know. I think that there might be $1,000 worth of ship uh, crafting stuff here thousand dollars i don't know that might be a little bit high but it's hard to say this stuff is expensive look at all this gold like metallic papers cardstock papers um this couture stuff right here might be kind of expensive this little couture box uh, these two and these toto or to do yeah the freedom to do everything these little kits, there's a lot of those. There's a ton of them. They're little, what are they, templates for die cutting? Glitter prints, four by six. Look at all this stuff, guys. All right, I know some of you crafters have got to be drooling over this. These uh, back here, these packs right here. Oh, jeez, look at all this paper. Look at all that. And then the packs right here, Janice said these had the price tags on them. 40 bucks each of those packs of paper. And look at it, we've got like tons more. Probably the cool into at least three more packs. We got three of those, and then probably two or three more packs that are out of the bags there. Crazy, 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 crazy. All this little stuff. Stickers, embossing essentials. This is punch board. That's one of those punch boards, okay. Uh, here's the thing for a cricket right here. Never did find the cricket. Never did find the cricket, but we did find the accessories. I told Camille she could come through here and uh, just look around, see what she wanted to keep for when we do find the cricket stuff. Here's the cricket and things here. She's going to really want one after she sees all this stuff we've got. Look at this butterfly medley. All the, oh, these are stamps. Is that what they are? Or embossing things? I don't know. There's all I know is there's tons of them, and these are not cheap. I only looked up a few things, and what I saw just kind of blew my mind. Fiskers. All right, and here's another Fiskers. I know what that is it's for. It's like a scissors, cutting the cutter. There's a little cutting board right here. Oh, uh, this we saw there. This for punching out the letters, and then Gianna put a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in these craft bags. The craft bags are nice. They have the tags on them still. Yeah, everything original Mary, I don't know. Everything Mary originals. Two bags matching. 
She filled them up with a bunch of crafting supplies. This is a Mar Martha Stewart thing right here. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. There's a tremendous amount of stuff. We'll probably auction these bags off as one whole bag and just say shipping additional or both bags together. I don't know, but if you guys are interested in this stuff, again, you can check out our live auctions Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll likely be doing some pop-up auctions as we get into the holiday season. So make sure uh, you check out our channel, subscribe, hit the alerts. So you'll, notify, you'll be notified when we put something new up. Over here is a couple more items from last week's auction to be mailed. And then a whole bunch of cards we've got all set up and ready to go. Jenna's starting to do the records. This is going to be in our next auction. A little preview there. And uh, here's that other machine, which I think is kind of like a cricket. It's a cut and boss. Cut and boss. Craft well. All right. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this adventure. All right. I've already bought another one. We'll go on another adventure soon enough. Soon enough. This is a three-parter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll tell you, I do spend a lot of time in editing to snip out all those little dead spots so that, uh, you know, all the, like, putting stuff back in the box or back in the bag or moving this and sorting. Like, I do cut it out. Try to keep that action as fast as possible. I hope it makes it for an enjoyable experience so you guys can just see, you know, really the best stuff. And uh, this one, eh, it had its, it had some good stuff in it, for sure. Had some good stuff, but it wasn't like a great, great locker, was it? It was just, it was all right, you know? The crafting stuff really is our saving grace. Like I said, I think there's well over $1,000 in stuff there. But of course, I'm talking about retail. Not necessarily talking about reset resale right retail versus resale very different we'll have to see i might be grossly underestimating the retail value so maybe we'll get a little more on resale there's a lot of stuff there and as you saw the prices i was flashing up which i didn't even know when i was filming it you know those little seven dollar packages and fifteen dollar packages twenty dollar packages they're gonna add up they're gonna add up to quite a bit so um the crafting stuff thankfully we have that but we found some geodes we found some marbles we found some video games we found we found some jewelry, but nothing precious. I, f I pulled out a couple pieces that were marked 925, but they stuck to the magnets, so they were not they were not real. Um, but there was some still some decent decent jewelry that'll either make it on our trays or in a jewelry bag in our upcoming auction. The cheaper, junkier stuff, we just gonna put it at the flea market in bulk. Uh, we won't bother auctioning that stuff. We really do save the best for our auctions. All right. So anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so glad I didn't buy the comic book locker. It's interesting because I talked to a couple other people who are familiar with that area and know of that facility and say they've heard bad stuff about that too and that they weren't surprised to see what looked like some monkey business. Now, I'm not saying the facility did it, but I'm saying it doesn't look so hot for those guys. Those guys are watching and you did something, shame on you. Really, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. It's not right. It's not right, okay? And it's not fair to us because we go there, and obviously people are willing to pay a fair price for those lockers. You shouldn't tamper with it. I mean, come on, you guys. Come on. Come on, right? All right, so, hey, before I go, enough lecturing, right? Before I go, I wanted to give a quick shout-out to Courtney Whitlow. You see that right there? Courtney Whitlow is a Bonafide Nuts member. And we so appreciate her and want to say thank you so much for signing up for the membership. If you guys want to know what that means, what it means to be a Locker Nuts channel member, uh, hit the join button below. It'll tell you everything you need to know. It's basically a way to support the channel beyond thumbs up, subscribing, sharing. You can go a little bit further if you'd like to. But also being a member means that you get to bid in our live auctions. Man, I hope I don't sound too much like a commercial promoting and bumping these live auctions, but we really, really do enjoy them. And if you've never been, check it out. Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific, as well as uh, very often we do a pop-up auction. And we're going to be stepping those up as we go into the holiday season because we know a lot of people are looking for gifts and such. So again, thank you, Courtney, for being bonafide nuts. We so appreciate you. We've got another video coming out soon, guys, soon. And this one's exciting because... I finally got a different vehicle for this business, and it's it's big. <laughs> it's big. I'm going to show you in the next video, so make sure you watch it. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock and Nuts. Big day for Jack Chestnut. Big day.
I actually woke up at four this morning and couldn't go back to sleep because I'm just a little bit nervous. It's a big investment for us, so I don't take it lightly. It's like a kid at Christmas. Um, but I am excited. I'm excited about the car because it's, it's a really nice car. And uh, our van, it's not really a car, it's a van. 